Hello everyone. Today we are going to discuss about the current division rule. This current division rule is used to find out the currents which is which are dividing in the circuit. Okay, let's say what is current division rule. A parallel circuit acts as a current divider. As it divides the total circuit current in its all the branches. So this dividing current we will find out by using this current division rule. Let's see what is current division rule and how to find out the currents by using this rule. So let's take one sample circuit which is having there are two resistors connected in parallel. As we know that in parallel current divides. Okay, it is a voltage source supply voltage and which is having there are two resistors connected in parallel. I yes, this is the total current. Okay, after this note, the current is dividing into two parts, I1 and I2. Okay, this I1 and I2 are called as dividing currents. Okay, by using this current division rule, we will find I1 value and I2 value. To find out I1 and I2, there is a formula of current division rule. This formula is used to find out the each and every currents here. We can find I1 value and I2 value by using this formula. The formula is Ix. Ix means it may be I1 or I2. Ix is equal to total current. Total current is nothing but this is a total current. Total current into opposite resistance by the total resistances. The sum of the all the resistances we will take here. Okay. For R2, for I2, the opposite resistance is R1. And for R2, opposite resistance is R2. Okay. Like this, we will take the resist opposite resistances. Let's write the equation for I1. I1 is equal to total current is what Is is a total current Is into for I1 what is up for R1 what is opposite resistance here R2 is opposite, opposite resistance R2 divided by total resistances are R1 plus R2. Okay, like this we will write the equation for I1. If you want to find out the I2, I2 is equal to total current is what Is is a total current. For R2 opposite resistance is I, R1. R1 divided by R1 plus R2. Total current, uh, the required current is equal to total current into opposite resistance by sum of all the resistors. So like this, we will write the I1 and I2 equations. Now let's see, by taking one example problem, we will solve I1 and I2. By using current division rule, find I2 value and I3 value. Okay, I1 value, this is a circuit which is having only one source. Here, there are three resistors, 7 ohm, 9 ohm, and 8 ohm resistors. I1 is a total current. After this note, this total current is dividing into two parts, I2 and I3. Okay, first we will find out I2 value. After that, we will find out I2 value and I3 value. Okay, this dividing currents are I2 and I3. This I2 and I3, here, for this particular problem, we will use current division rule. Now let's see how to find I1 value because I, I1 is a total current. First we need to find out the total current. To find I2 and I3 we require total current. That's why we are finding total current. I1 is equal to total voltage. Total current I1 is equal to total voltage by total resistance. We know the total voltage is 5 volts but we don't know total resistance. That we will find out now. In the given problem 8 ohm and 9 ohm are connected in parallel because in these two resistor current is dividing. In the series and parallel connection we discussed if the current divides that is called as parallel circuit. As here current is dividing in the 9 ohm and 8 ohm resistor these both are connected in parallel. If both the resistors are connected in parallel the formula is 8 into 9 by 8 plus 9. That answer is 4.23 ohms. Now if we simplify the diagram, we will get these two resistors are converted into one single resistor by using the parallel operation. That answer we got 4.23 ohms. Now, 7 ohms and 4.23 ohms are connected in series. If both the resistors are connected in series, the formula is R1 plus R2. 7 plus 4.23 is equal to 11.23 ohms. The total resistance is equal to R is equal to 11.23 ohms. Now we have the total voltage 5 volts and the total resistance is 11.23 ohms. Let's substitute these values and we'll get total current I1. I1 is equal to V by R as we know. I1 is equal to total voltage is 5 volts. Total resistance is 11.23 ohms. If we calculate the above value, we will get I1 is equal to 0 0.44 amperes is a total current. This is a total current. Now if we take the 
total uh, I2 and I3 values, we use this formula. This is the current division rule formula. For that, I am finding the I2 value. I2 value is equal to total current. The total current is 0 0.44. Total current into for the opposite resistance of R, this 9 ohm is 8 ohm. 8 ohm divided by total resistances, 8 plus 9. If we calculate the above value, we will get I2 is equal to 0 0.207 amperes. This is the current I2. Now, let's find out I3 here. For opposite resistance of 8 is 9. Okay, that's why here I am writing I3 is equal to total current 0 0.44 into for this opposite resistance is 9 ohm. 9 ohm divided by 8 plus 9. Total resistances, the dividing resistors. Okay, I3 is equal to 0 0.232 amperes. So this is the total current and this is the I2 current and this is the I3 current. Okay, here total resistance is nothing but just we will write in where the current is dividing. That is only we will write. We will not take this, this resistance here. Okay, this is you have to remember. This is about the current division rule and this is the problem how, how to uh, use the current division rule in the given problem. In the next class, we will discuss about the further videos. Thank you everyone.